Hi friends, hope all are doing good. Welcome to my channel, Flavors of Life. Today's recipe is a flavorful one and it is Korikod Biryani. Korikod is a beautiful city in Kerala where music and food brings people together. Getting to know the love and flavors out there is a great blessing. On a special occasion like Women's Day, me and my husband planned to cook together and sing for the love of Korikod. Let's get into the recipe. To a mixer blender, just add in 10 green chilies, one big piece of ginger chopped for easy grinding, and then garlics, which can come around from 10 to 12 or even 15, according to how garlicky person you are. This is important masala for the biryani, so do it with so much of love and care. Do just crush it and do not make it into a paste. And it's all done I crushed it this is how it must look somewhat like a crushed form and not in a paste form to a pan add around half tablespoon of ghee and oil when the oil is hot just fry the cashews and raisins which we will be using for the garnishing later and when the recipe is starting it is time for the love of music and giving the recipe some love time for music here comes the song Oru pushpam maatramin Poongulayil nirtham yaan Odu vil nee ettum bool Choodikyu After the song, time to concentrate on the recipe into the same oil add in three chopped onion and fry it until it becomes light golden in color at this point of time you can also make fried onions which is also a garnishing thing in this biryani what you could do is take up little onion from this chopped part make it into really crispy golden brown and keep it aside for garnishing the onions we put have started browning time to add the crushed goodness into it the love into it mix it up mix 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 it up really well and wait for it to cook now the mixture is all cooked there goes two ripe plump tomatoes make sure it's really ripe because this adds a lot of color and flavor and also moisture to the recipe close the lid of the vessel and leave it around for few minutes in medium flame by stirring in between Time to spice it up with some turmeric powder, around 1 teaspoon of it, don't add too much. Around 1 tablespoon of black pepper powder which is freshly crushed. And then goes in the mommy's magic which I call garam masala or biryani masala which is 1 tablespoon. This is the basic masala of the biryani and this must not be skipped at all in this recipe. This adds a beautiful fragrance of kori kod. Go ahead, do your magic to the recipe by adding little salt, just enough for the recipe. Cook it for a few minutes in low flame and the masala is ready. Mix up the masala once more to make sure has been evenly cooked now go ahead by adding the chicken pieces it can be a medium pieces I'm adding chicken legs it is around 700 grams in weight and it serves four mix it up really well and close it do not add water to the chicken the chicken will release water gradually when it cooks 
close the vessel and cook it make sure you close it so that it makes the cooking process very easy and quick while the chicken is cooking halfway through open up the lid and you can add around three tablespoon of good thick yogurt or curd mix it up really well the yogurt helps in making the chicken tender and will it will also speed up the cooking process almost all the ingredients is gone to the chicken and now it is the time for it to rest in low flame and cook meanwhile it's time for us to make the rice for the biryani so into a cooker take enough water for the rice add in spices like cardamom clove and cinnamon stick to it and enough salt required for the rice and set it to boil the water should be the right consistency as the rice go in with a splash of lime juice this helps the rice to become non-sticky to each other wait for it to boil and the water started boiling when it starts boiling add in a half teaspoon of ghee to it and wait for it to melt give it a good mix and when it starts boiling again go ahead with the rice washed and soaked and I have taken around three cups of rice the measurement of water is like for one cup of rice one and a half cup of water small grain rice is recommended for good taste and flavor yeah the water started boiling again and now it's the time to close the lid and let it sit for two whistles on high flame switch off the flame and wait for all the pressure to release to open the cooker the chicken curry is all done now and for the final touch add another one tablespoon of lime juice to it which will help in a great flavor and the tenderness of the chicken Along with it, add in chopped coriander and pudina leaves. This will add in color and flavor to the recipe. Mix it up really well and wait for the gravy to reduce. The thickness of the gravy should not neither be thick or thin. It should be medium. This will help in soaking the rice when layering the biryani the desired consistency is reached close the lid of the vessel and set aside the rice is all done and ready right now mix up or fluff up the rice in a softer hands and do not over mix the rice right now now the climax it's up layering up the biryani which is a very important part of the biryani just do it it's very simple just do it chicken rice and again chicken and rice just follow the video and you can easily do it we started the recipe with the song and I'm sure we have to end the recipe with this song so here comes a next song mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും മണ്ണ് വാരി കളിച്ചപ്പോൾ അന്നു തമ്മിൽ പറഞ്ഞതും മറന്ന് പോയോ ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും മണ്ണ് വാരി കളി ചപ്പോൾ അന്ന് തമ്മിൽ പറഞ്ഞതും മറന്ന് പോയോ ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും കറിച്ചട്ടി ചിരട്ടയിൽ മുരിങ്ങാ പൂ പറിച്ചിട്ട് കറിച്ചട്ടി ചിരട്ടയിൽ മുരിങ്ങാ പൂ പറിച്ചിട്ട് കറി വെച്ച് കളിച്ചതും മറന്ന് പോയോ കറി വെച്ച് 
കളിച്ചതും മറന്ന് പോയോ ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും മണ്ണ് വാരി കളിച്ചപ്പോൾ അന്ന് തമ്മിൽ പറഞ്ഞതും മറന്ന് പോയോ ചെറുപ്പത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടും The much awaited biryani is now ready to serve with heartwarming flavors of curry cod. Hope you all like the recipe. If you like the recipe, do try it out and let me know in the comments below the video. Subscribe to my channel for more recipes. Stay healthy, stay happy. Thanks for watching.